0.5 inches, if you could get it there in that corner, this is the uh, standard uh, or regulation size bowl, and it's heavier than the women's bowl, and it's, and it's bigger. And uh, now we go to the uh, official women's National Basketball Association bowl, uh, official women's size, 28.5. That's a whole inch smaller, and don't forget, the rim size is the same. So that makes this a lot easier to go through the hoop than a ball an inch bigger in circumference. So these well, are just... Well, well, but Tony, I, 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 with the tennis is yet to be proved, but this example that you give right here, uh, so what? What, what? You know, I mean, women are going to play amongst women. They're not, they aren't demanding, well, mm -hmm. some of them are demanding, I think, to play with the men eventually. But uh, if they're playing amongst women, why can't they have different uh, specifications of their balls and the, and the height of the rim? Well, it kind, it kind of brings the legitimacy of the whole thing up to question. For instance, the women demanding equal prize money. Uh, when the women's uh, soccer team won, uh, the American soccer team won, President Clinton, who was president, President at that time came out and said women should get equal uh, money. The, the female soccer players should make the same as the men, male players uh, should. Um, you know, and in this case of the equipment, I, I think it is something. I, I think it, it's, it's a form of cheating, just as a cork in the bat, if yeah. you will. <laughs> Well, I, I, I can't r relate it to cheating, Tony, because they, amongst, as long as they play with themselves uh, in the but same... But the scores are higher. Let's take basketball, for mm -hmm. instance. If they use a smaller ball, which goes through the hoop more, right. can't you see that the scores are going to be higher than they normally would be if they use the yeah. same size but, ball I mean, as I, men? I think women's basketball is a separate game from men's basketball. I only uh, think that something should be called into play like this when the women want to compete with the men, such as, you know, Anika... Sorenstam did. I mean, she played on an equal playing Yes, but field. that made it obvious. When Anika Sorenstam came and played right. on, a, on the men's tour, mm -hmm. she had to hit from the men's uh, right. golf tees. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. You see how obvious it becomes well, then well, that women's sports, because women... Uh, uh, Athletes have been saying, okay. Roy, ad, you know, ad nauseum right. here, that their their sports are equal to men's. That's my whole point: right. is that if you're equal, then play with the same balls. Right. Well, I agree with you on that point. But what I'm saying is, if as long as they don't compete against the men, or if say a woman basketball player wanted to join the NBA, and I think some of them do. Mm -hmm. uh, I say, go ahead, try out for all the teams right. you want to. I say, go and play uh, men's tennis, mm -hmm. play men's golf. Let's see where what happens. It's going to happen like this. There'll be no more women's basketball. There'll be no more uh, women's golf. There'll be no more women's tennis because the, they'll all try to go compete again on the men's but circuit. But they won't. They won't, they, exactly. They won't. That's, it, that's why. They can't compete. They can't compete against right. what? But they make this big production right. with uh, uh, Nika Swordstan, Billie Jean King, right. that were as good as men, and they're not on the right. same level. And, and that's, not, that's not a dig against them. It's just, you know, it's exactly. not a dig. It's biology. <coughs> you know, why don't they get over this fact that right. they are not men? Yeah. I mean, Nika Swordstan comes out, she plays with men, right. she fails, and then she goes back to her sex, sexist right. uh, sanctuary uh, called I, women's golf. I, I, and I don't see them letting men go mm -hmm. on their tour or try a man. Uh, it doesn't have to be Tiger Woods. But there's, there's some point, you always give the an, an analogy, and I love this analogy, that 46 oh, men finished before the first marathon, New York City marathon winner. Yeah. And uh, she gets the prize money. Exactly. Okay. She gets first place okay. prize money. But we're getting a little bit no, off no, the but, subject. But, 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 so let's let's just, get back to tennis and okay. get back to that second Okay, clip. we'll come back to that in a second. Here at Purchase. Yeah, another uh, good crowd coming to see Billie Jean King. Last time it was uh, Gloria Steinem, and uh, before that, Erin Brockovich. Uh, very powerful, aggressive women. That's what uh, really draws American women to uh, to these lectures. Well, do you think that, uh, I've asked this of a lot of women tonight, do you think that she would have had this kind of draw if she didn't beat Bobby Riggs that night? Of course not. You know, the women say that she didn't, but that, let me tell you, Roy, that match 
which really uh, bolstered her into uh, popularity. I mean, it made her a household name, pardon the pun. But you think the, the real feminist, uh, they would have known that it was a shallow victory. Uh, he, after all, he did defeat Margaret Court a few months early, which totally gets neglected. Yes. In fact, one woman said tonight that... Feminists don't care about facts and, and reality. All they care about is their end game, and their end game was to get equal prize money for women in sports. As Arthur Ashe pointed out, the women weren't drawing as many uh, spectators. Uh, they didn't... Yeah, would you, you say know. that in t this t today? Well, they have improved. They have improved. Oh, they're yeah, better yeah. than the men. Are no, you They're kidding? not. They're not oh better God. than the men. Because if they were better than the men, they would be playing the men, just like Anna Sor Sorenstam. The batches are more entertaining and better than the men. They don't Billie have to Jane play the men. Did a lot for women's tennis. Yes, she did. That's the problem. <laughs> no, it's not a problem. I, I, I think it's uh, it's spectacular. And the women... It's the women show in a television yeah, show, isn't it? It is. No, it's, no, it's not. No, the it draw is far superior to the men's today. Are you saying that the women are better than the men? No. You didn't hear what she I did. said. I said, I <laughs> said it more entertaining. Because you don't. And it's, it's not like, wow, one serve, ace shot, mm. point. That's a men's okay. match. Uh, if she never played that match, do you think you would be here today? Oh, I think so. Eventually something would have come, you know, but she's... Uh, yeah, but that's she's what made her famous, as Roy's point, is that really made her a popular icon in American I, culture. I, I don't disagree with that. At that time, A, we didn't have the media... <laughs> Mm -hmm. coverage on anything. And I wasn't even born yet. Yeah. There was no media coverage of Bobby Riggs beating Margaret Court a few months earlier, yes. by the way. Yeah. 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 And she Margaret Court was an American. It wasn't an American. Uh, Billie Jean I mean, King is. have always been involved in sports. And, you know, it's one thing the media really never picked up on until recently. Bobby Riggs. Bobby Riggs. I knew that was going to come up. I knew it. <laughs> Well, what do we say about the PJA tour now? Should we talk about that too? Oh, sure. well, I say there should be a difference. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> well, I just do. Well, you think there shouldn't be? It should be a I difference. Should, yes, and I'm very proud that there is a difference, and I <laughs> I like the difference. Why do they get equal prize money? They have equal participation. They work as hard. The participation. I'm tell you why. Two out of three sets I'm versus. I'll tell you why. Because it's entertainment, and people are getting paid as entertainment. If it's entertainment, then then if they don't draw the same amount of spectators, should they get the same? They do. Oh, go to the US Open. I, no, no, no. The they US still... Stand there and you watch less women play and because, they, they, because they, they have one match with against the men, then the next match is against women. So it, you can't tell who the spectators actually came to see. No, I would personally much rather watch a good women's tennis match. Yeah, I think it's more a much movement, more much entertaining action. thing to watch. I think it's a much more beautiful... Well, it's a slower game. Sure. They provide the same service as the men. Well, do they, though? They only play two out of three sets to the men's three out of five. They don't draw the same amount of spectators and they can't come close to beating the men. Uh, if they wanted to, they could play three out of five. The only reason yes. two out of the only reason they play two out of three is because that's the way it's always been. Well, in, actually, no. They started playing three out of five, but they found that the lesser players, lesser female players, couldn't compete, couldn't play so many matches, five set matches. Doesn't bother me. No. What do you think about her activism and you know all the fuss they made I about think her? We men would be, we men should be equally active. So may, we make sure that we get equal balance. That's right. Equal rights for men too, right? That's right. Yeah. Don't forget it. Yeah, there it is, Roy. Um, you know, they bring up some interesting points. Uh, one woman talked about it being entertainment. So, so now we're to believe that women's sports isn't a sports competition. It's entertainment, which, of course, is a huge insult to the female ath athletes out there. Well, sports is driven today by personality. That's just the way it is. But you're right about being, if it's really a true athletic event, that's what all that should count. But with media hype today, they have to play off the personalities. Wow. I mean, Macaron, you mm -hmm. know, became a star of being a brat. Right. So, <laughs> and you wanted to bring up uh, yeah, we well, well, remiss. Well, if, uh, I mean, I wanted to bring up a couple of oh, things. Okay. Number one is uh, Chris Everett. Didn't she say that she couldn't beat the 1,000th ranked player on the tennis tour, and that's why she right. didn't do it? Exactly. And uh, even one of the Williams sisters, I believe it was Serena, recently came out and said she has no plans uh, to play uh, mm -hmm. any male professional tennis player. If you remember. Jim Jimmy Connors beat Martina Navratilova in Las Vegas a few years ago. You know, there's, there's just all kinds of uh, evidence. Well, the thing is also, I mean, at what point does, in any sport, as we'll talk about tennis and golf, if can the 250th uh, ranked man uh, golfer, can he beat 
an Iga Sorenstein? I mean, where I don't is, know. You'd I mean, be better no, off. No, no, but I'm saying, but also in, 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 you know, the other things, Billie Jean King at the time, because she, she couldn't have beat uh, Rod Lay or somebody no, like that. No, not at all. So, I mean, no. but yet the New York Times, cut or no cut for an Iga Sorenstein, a woman star proves that she can play with the best. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, yeah, she played with a special privilege. She cost a man, a journeyman golfer, a salary that week. Mm -hmm. Probably minimum prize and money is probably around four or five thousand, maybe a little bit more. He, she cost that man that much money. Right. And maybe it's nothing to her because she's a big star on the women's tour, but that was something to that guy. And Vijay Singh, uh, one of the top professional golfers, was called a caveman for pro right. protesting the he fact... He had the courage to yes, come and out so, uh, and condemn it. And so did yeah. Nick Price. Nick Price right. also said she could, should qualify right. for the tour. What do you think about An 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 Anika's uh, statement, quote, it was a great week, but I've got to go back to my tour where I belong. I'm glad I did it, but this is way over my head. Right. Well, as I said before, I think that if this was a real possibility, that women in, in great numbers, golfers, tennis players, would be going on each other's tour, well, the woman going on the men's tour, because the men, I would love to see a, a thousandth ranked man go on the women's tour in tennis or golf. But they won't it? allow them. I know. The, the uh, women's the, the tour bylaws. says that you have to be born a woman right. to play on the I, women's uh, professional golf I would association. I would love to see that, but uh, getting back to what I was saying before, if there were, if there was equality allowed, the, the, the women's tour would drive up, would dry out because they would all would be trying to compete on the men's tour. So that's they have a special place for themselves, which is right. Exactly. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. Yeah. So they ought to be happy that they have that. Yeah. You know, but well, now they can have it both ways. They can yeah. dabble in the men's tour in tennis and in golf, right. and then they can go back to their protected sanctuary exactly. of women's tennis. Exactly. And, and make a living. And golf too. Exactly. Well, on that note, Tony, we have to end it. Oh, Provocative okay. discussion once a, once again. Uh, we thank you for preparing such a good show and we want to thank everybody for watching Men's Net. Please uh, contact the website or uh, contact one of the contact sources at the end of the show. We'd love to hear from you. And until next time, thanks for watching Men's Net. We'll see you next time. Take care. <laughs>